Lesson number 15. I want to explain some of the principles of the charge of resisting arrest. Resisting arrest and failure to obey a reasonable uh, command by a police officer are commonly uh, issued when there's a pretty violent situation with the police. Resisting arrest simply means that you did not comply with the officer's either verbal commands or with his physical actions to place you under arrest. Some of the simple things that can uh, constitute resisting arrest is simply you're uh, snatching his hand off of you. You're pushing him away. You're uh, grabbing his hand and pushing it away. You're uh, running back and constantly running back, and once he maybe uh, grabs you, then uh, you decide that you don't want uh, to be arrested. He's trying to push you uh, or ask you to get into the car, and you won't get into the car, and then he's trying to push you into the car. You won't get into the car because you still want to talk about why your brother was the one that was wrong, why your mother was the one that was wrong, right? And so you're constantly fighting with the police officer, and you're not hearing me, you're not hearing me, okay? So this is not what you should do. All of those things, in my opinion, constitute resisting arrest, okay? And I'm not trying to give you a legal opinion. I'm trying to give you my experience through the years, which you can pretty much rely on. You must simply comply with everything that is ethical and legal for the police officer if he asks you to do it. Now, you can't determine what's ethical because you don't know. But when you're asked to do something, people have common sense. You need to comply with that. He does not have to wait on you to comply. Normally, if you're asked once, you should comply. If you ask twice, anything can pretty much happen to you at that point. You can be tased, you can be maced, you can be physically forced into the vehicle. You're going to end up in the vehicle anyway. Why not do it the smart way? Do not resist arrest. And another charge that's constantly, uh, commonly placed on people, people who are outsiders want to get in the midst of it. You don't like the way the police officer has done the things. You haven't been a part of these lessons to learn how to act. And so you want to run in and you, you can't do that. Who made you a lawyer? You can't do this. You can't, officer, you can't do that. You're out of your place. That's the job for an attorney to take a look at. Now, I want to say to you, when you interfere in any way, any way, blocking a police officer's path, many times you want to block them from getting to the husband that you called uh, the police out to deal with anyway, now he's under arrest. Why do you want to lock him up? In many kinds, many cases, we're back to those things about disturbance calls. Uh, in many cases, the family member that calls will turn against the police to come and who came to help them because they don't like the way that the police now is dealing with the person they called about that they couldn't deal with. So don't interfere or you may be hit with those charges and don't resist.